All right, this morning, CNN is hearing from Larry David on what he thinks about Donald Trump. Chris Wallace had a fascinating conversation with him. I can't go a day without thinking about what he's done to this country because he's such a little baby that he's thrown 250 years of democracy out the window by not accepting the results of an I mean, it's, it's so crazy. He's such a sociopath. He's so insane. He just couldn't admit to losing. And we know he lost. He knows he lost. And look how he, he's fooled everybody. He's convinced all these people that he didn't lose. It's, he's a, such a sick man. He's so sick. Anyway, no, it hasn't impacted me at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quintessential Larry David right there. The full conversation streams tomorrow on Who's Talking to Chris Wallace. With me now, CNN senior political, actually a senior data reporter. Whatever you want, There's man. There's just a lot of words they threw in Why there. Why don't you put chief in there? CNN chief data reporter. I'm going to get in trouble for that. Mm -hmm. Harry Etten, it's great to see you. Look, what Larry David was talking about there yeah is election denialism, which is very much in the news this week. The RNC now reportedly with a litmus test asking people, did Donald Trump actually lose the election? Talk to us about what the polls are saying about this idea of election denialism. Yeah, you know, if we look on Republicans, right? Republicans on Biden's 2020 win, legitimate. Let's go back to December of 2021. 39% said it was legitimate. 58% 58 said it was illegitimate. Jump to December of 2023. Those opinions have not in any way shifted towards the actual truth. They have actually strayed further into the untruth. Now, 67% of Republicans believe that the 2020 election was illegitimate. Of course, they are on Fantasy Island. Everything that we know from the real data said that election was legitimate, yet Republicans are on this Fantasy Island. Some of that seems to be correlated to what they're watching on TV, yes? Yes, so this to me, I just, I, I love digging deep into the crosstabs and finding something interesting. Republicans who believe the 2020 election was legitimate. If you're a mainstream media follower, let's say you're watching NBC News, if you're a Republican, 58% of those folks believe the election was legitimate. But if you're following conservative media, look this. Just 23% believe the election was legitimate. We're talking Fox News, we're talking OANN, we're talking Newsmax. Very few of those voters believe that Republicans believe the election was legitimate. Far more Republicans who follow the mainstream media actually believe the truth. My statistics professor, no doubt, is yelling at the screen right now. I said it was a correlation. We don't know whether it's correlation or causation, Station. but it's there. It's there. It's there. Now, what about this idea of a litmus test? The RNC apparently asking people who want to work for them, what they think about the election. What about the idea of it as a litmus test? Yeah, among all Republicans, they don't like the idea of a litmus test, right? Most Republicans believe that there should not, in fact, be a litmus test. Uh, only 38% believe that there should be. Compared to the hardcore Trump backers, those who backed him at the very beginning of the campaign, the majority of those do, in fact, believe that the party should not be accepting of those who do not believe the election, essentially saying, you better believe that the election was illegitimate if, in fact, you're going to be a public official. But among all Republicans, no, they don't believe there should be a litmus test. But among those hardcore Trump backers, they absolutely believe that there should be. This is who's running the RNC That's right exactly now. right. Talk to me about voters as, as a whole, because we've only been talking about Republicans up until now. Yeah, all adults on Biden's win. Most Americans believe that Biden's win was legitimate. Stuck in all this conversation about just focusing on Republicans, most Americans believe that the 2020 election was legitimate. 36%, still a very large portion, believe it's illegitimate, but that's focused mostly among Republicans. If you're looking among independents, you're looking among Democrats, you're looking overall, most of those folks, in fact, do believe the election was legitimate, which, of course, it was, John. Harry Atten, thank you very thank much. You, for that. that was terrific.